In order to keep your backhoe in operational condition and safe to use, you will need to occasionally perform basic preventative maintenance. When performing maintenance and making adjustments to the backhoe, wear the right safety gear for the job. Make sure the machine is on level ground. Before accessing the engine compartment, install the lift cylinder brace to prevent accidental movement of the loader apparatus. To do so, raise the loader, remove the pin that secures the LCB, and allow the brace to contact the lift cylinder rod. Push the pin through the lower holes on the brace and install the cotter pin. Slowly lower the loader arms until the brace contacts the top of the lift cylinder. Always use the lift cylinder brace when the loader arms are raised for backhoe service and maintenance. Raise the engine guard and remove the engine access panels. Inspect the drive belts to ensure they're in good condition and free from cracks and frays. Inspect the air filters by removing the housing. Remove the primary and secondary filter elements from the housing. Hold the primary filter up to a light source and inspect it for cleanliness and to ensure the pleats and seals are not damaged or torn. If the filter is dirty, either replace it or clean it from the inside out using compressed air of no more than 30 PSI. The secondary filter should not be cleaned. Replace it every third time the primary filter is cleaned. Do not tap, strike, or wash the filters. Wipe down the inside of the filter housing. Reinstall the filters and filter housing. Some backhoes are equipped with an air filter service indicator. To check the engine oil level with the engine off, pull out the dipstick and wipe it off. Reinsert it and pull it out again to get an accurate reading. The level should fall between the add and full marks. Add oil if necessary via the filler tube. To check the hydraulic oil level, Ensure the hydraulic pressure is relieved. Use the sight gauge to check the fluid level. Top up if necessary. Do not overfill the hydraulic tank. Locate and inspect the fuel filter system and water separator. It may be necessary to drain water from the separator. Please refer to the appropriate maintenance manual for proper procedure and interval. Inspect all engine compartment hoses and hydraulic lines for leaks. Use caution and follow the proper procedure as fluid under pressure can penetrate the skin causing serious injury. Have leaks repaired before using the backhoe. This model of backhoe has a sealed brake system and can only be serviced by an authorized dealer. However, you can test the brakes. Refer to the appropriate maintenance manual for the proper procedure. Check the brake fluid level in your backhoe by directly checking the reservoir. Also, check the brake system for leaks. Check the coolant level in the coolant reservoir. The level must fall between the two marks on the reservoir. If necessary, remove the cap and add more coolant solution. Wait for the engine to cool before removing the fill cap. Hot coolant is under pressure and can spray out, causing injury. If at some point you need to change fluids or filters on your backhoe, please refer to the appropriate maintenance manual for these procedures. Follow steps to prevent environmental contamination when performing maintenance on your backhoe. Promptly contain and clean up any spills. If you notice a leak, use drip pans until the machine can be repaired. Do not allow liquids or dry cleanup materials to enter a stormwater drainage system. Inspect the radiator and ensure there are no damaged fins and that it is free of debris. Refer to the appropriate maintenance manual for proper cleaning procedures. Inspect the battery, battery cables, and electrical wiring for damage. Check the front and rear wheel nuts to ensure they are properly tightened. Also, check the tire pressure in each tire. Check the pressure on cold tires and be careful not to exceed the recommended pressure. A burst tire can cause serious injury. Tire inflating pressure varies according to the load weighing on the axles. 
It is important to have a clean windshield if the backhoe is so equipped. Open the windshield washer reservoir and check the level. Top up if necessary. Check the working attachments for wear and tear. There can be as many as 30 lubrication points or grease zerks on both the loader assembly and the dipper assembly. Use a grease gun to apply the necessary amount of lubricant to the points, first making sure to wipe any dirt or contaminants off of the zerks before attaching the grease gun. Additionally, the tractor component may also have grease zerks on the drive line, door hinges, and axles. It is also necessary to inspect the extendable stick, if so equipped, for proper lubrication. Before applying new grease on sliding surfaces, clean and remove all dirt accumulation and contaminants. The battery master switch is located in the engine compartment and is used to completely disconnect the battery from the electrical system. The positions vary for different backhoe models. Please consult your operator's manual. The switch should be switched off at the end of each working day for service or for any maintenance of electrical systems. Please refer to the appropriate maintenance manual for all maintenance intervals.